Well, hello, welcome to the TV44 Auction Preview Show. Alongside Jennifer Beck, I'm Mark Kuntz, as we are just weeks away from the annual TV44 Auction. Now remember, the auction is always the first Saturday after Labor Day, which this year means it's a little bit later than in years past, Jennifer. It's September the 12th. That's right, September 12th. Put it on your calendar right now if you haven't done so already. Maybe the weather will be just a little bit cooler. You never know. Could be a, be a wonderful, week later into wonderful September. Day. We've got some great items to show you for this next half hour, including everything you see around us, everything we're sitting on is all part of the TV44 auction, including, yes, even a plastic ceramic pick. Now, Jennifer, you grew up on a farm. No. Truly, you had friends who grew up on farms. Perhaps, I grew up in a town of 700 people. Perhaps even some friends who had Close pigs to for pets. Well, yes, I lived, I, I went to Wapsie Valley High School in Fairbank, Iowa, which is literally out in the middle of Farmville, cornfields and uh, pigs, pigs in Iowa. So, I don't know where there's a better pork chop than so Iowa. So perhaps one of your old chums might want to come in and, and buy this pig as a reminder of what they had growing up. All right, Laura Luke, if you are watching this, you grew up in <laughs> Iowa with, not with me, but you also know rural Iowa. We'll get together and we'll see what we can do. The auction, as we said, the registration begins at 8.30, and the auction itself begins at 9. And at 10 o'clock, we'll have sports memorabilia. 10.30, the outer ring construction will go out for bids. 12 noon is when the trips and getaways get started, and I tell you, we've got about 40 or 50 of those for this year. You won't want to miss that. 1 o'clock, we continue on with more incredibly great items like pigs and rocking horses. <laughs> 2 o'clock, inside the main tent, we'll continue with our regular auction uh, auctioneering of things. But then we go outside to do the cars, and we have some nice cars this year, too. And, of course, throughout the time, we'll have the boutique and the garage sale open. So if you don't want to get into the process of bidding, you just want to come in and buy some things, that's what the boutique and the garage sale are and for. And I tell you what, that boutique, if you walk in there and it looks like it's just stuff everywhere, take some time and look, because what happens when we have too many items for our auction block, we move some of those items into the boutique, we mark it relatively reasonable prices, higher than garage sale, but remember, the dollars that you spend are impacting the Ministry of TV44. So yes, that boutique will have some potentially auctionable items, but just to save time, you can just walk right in, 9 o'clock in the morning, buy them, and they'll be yours. And of course, we take cash, we take checks, we also take credit cards, so however you want to pay, whatever is most convenient for you, we are set up and ready to go on a Saturday, September the 12th. Let's take a look at some of the items that will be up for bid on the TV44 auction. As always, we've got some fantastic furniture, including a great sectional sofa by Temple donated by the Granary. You've seen us on this sofa a few times as we used it on our Faith and Friends set. Very comfortable. I figured out that both my 12-year-old and 10-year-old daughters could sleep on that sofa with plenty of space. I'm not saying how I know this, but that is a sofa that's very nice to take a nap on. <laughs> well, that just makes it more valuable, doesn't it? All right, we've got some other great items from the granary as well. Take a look at this beautiful solid Cherry Victoria sideboard, which you will also be able to see. It is on our auction set. Um, beautiful, beautiful piece that would look great in your dining room. Yeah, that, that, that nice deep cherry red wood. Absolutely, uh, just a gorgeous item. And the granary also donating swivel bar chairs, a quarter inch sawn oak as a great opportunity to maybe redecorate the kitchen or maybe that would look great in your breakfast nook. We chested those out on our segments last week. Very comfortable and yes, they swivel quite nicely. If you have young children, you may have to strap them in. We have more furniture as well provided by the Ottaville Furniture Kidding and Hardware Store. We've got a swivel chair, natural upholstery, a uh, nice uh, tan chair, a cream-colored chair. That would be great in the uh, for reading, it looks like. Of course, we're so thankful for our partnership with area furniture stores, and Autoville Hardware and Furniture also has provided some very unique uh, decor items. There's a lighted vase you can see there that actually lights up. Uh, some nice wall hangings and quite a few other assorted wall hangings as well from Ottaville Hardware and Furniture. Ottaville Hardware and Furniture also donating the chair I happen to be sitting on right now. Uh, another uh, beautiful best chair, but also Holland Grill coming through with some great items, including three different grills. A Holland Grill, a Holland Companion Grill, as well as a grill dome 
All those provided by Holland Grill of Spencerville. We know what a fantastic job those grills do cooking, not just your meat, but you can do a whole variety of things on those. And you can test that out at the auction on September 12th. Holland Grill will be bringing another display of grills and they will be grilling hamburgers and chicken legs on their grills and that will be part of our food tent so you can enjoy that for your lunch. September 12th, Ohio State Buckeyes at home taking on Hawaii, a 3.30 kickoff so you can come to the auction, pick up some Ohio State memorabilia and then go home and watch the Buckeyes take on the Rainbow Warriors as the Hollow Log has donated some Ohio State items for this year's auction including an Ohio State bench, an Ohio State garden decoration as well as armed forces statues. That's right. Well, uh, the Ohio State items, those are awfully nice, as well as these very great uh, donations this year from the Hollow Log. We are very, very thankful for that. Hey, we forgot to mention one of the granaries key items they provided. This thing sure. has gotten probably more discussion than I've anything else. I've heard about pigs flying, but pigs on skateboards, that's a new one. <laughs> The pig will be up for auction on September the 12th as the granary has provided that. You know, it's a fun little item. It's it's something that maybe you could put out in, in your garden. Maybe you want to put it in the kids' playroom. It's just it's just something neat it and fun. It makes you happy, except for here it looks like we have a pig that's about ready to charge a horse. Well, you know, pigs and horses have to get along on the farm, and they'll get along on the auction block as well. Also coming up on the auction block from Kern's Fireplace and Spa, we have a full-size vent-free fireplace. Get yourself ready for what I'm being told could be another cold winter. A yeah, beauty of real wood, an automatic thermostat, a, a great item that, you know, maybe you've got a drafty room. Maybe you've, you refinished the basement, but it's still a little chilly down there. This is a great uh, an item to just kind of cozy up any room in your home. Now, it wouldn't be an auction without some beautiful handcrafted wood items from Ernie Hollenbacher. And this year, Ernie has donated a grandfather clock that you don't want to miss. Just an exquisite piece of artwork that Ernie Hollenbach has uh, generously donated to the TV44 auction for September the 12th. This is absolutely beautiful. Please come out on the 12th and see this on site. That is just one of the two items that this incredibly gifted carpenter has donated to us. The second one being a study desk. It's perfect. I, I should have, we should have the dimensions. I'm sorry we don't, but I feel like it's perfect in size. It kind of fits in a corner. It's not too large, but you can get all your, all your studying in there. So those are two items that will be up for bid on the 12th. The line niche and the wardrobe also donating items to this year's TV44 auction, including, yes, the solid wood rocking horse. Throws, my, my older brother, as a child, just loved his rocking horse. and would just spend hours and hours and hours upon it. When we were both young, our parents got us Christmas ornaments, some nice uh, brass ornaments. I had a, a drummer boy. My brother had a hobby horse, and those are still two uh. ornaments that we adore. Wow, you know, the classic things. My 10-year-old came into the studio and saw that, and immediately she wanted to jump on there. You know, there's just something there's something neat about those kinds of items. Absolutely. I want to thank the line, the niche, and the wardrobe for donating that. We also have some more furniture, some antique chairs in Victorian style, part of the antique furniture block. Well, what's interesting about this one is if you purchase these items, you also will receive the chair that was used in singer-songwriter Hannah Beck's recent album. You can see it right there. That's the cover of her album. Great album, by the way. Several of those songs just continually running through my head. But great opportunity to pick up furniture on September 12th with the TV44 auction. Maybe you're looking for a unique item, a collector's piece. Well, have we got something <laughs> for you. A 1976 Coca-Cola Huffy Bicycle donated anonymously, has never been ridden, just an absolutely gorgeous collector's item. I believe it's number 756 out of 1,000 that were that were created. That has never, the only time it ever even, the wheels rested on pavement was when the donors brought it to us. Otherwise, it's always been kept securely, and the box is even there still. So a great item there, a unique one-of-a-kind item, a beautiful bicycle. We also have some beautiful furniture, or we've talked about the beautiful furniture, beautiful jewelry that will be on the auction block as well as uh, Vons and Diamonds and Jewelry have provided a Pandora bracelet. Beautiful bracelet, also a gift certificate from Vons will also be on the auction block. Beckman's Jewelers in Ottawa has provided us some diamond earrings. Those are very nice as well. And Uncommon Supplies, a chainmail jewelry company online has provided us this very nice earring and necklace set. That's just a taste of some of the items that will be up for bid September 12th, the annual TV44 auction. We've shown you 
some uh, great jewelry, some furniture, some unique, unique items. TV44 Auction always has automobiles as well. And Andy and Zach have more with just some of the cars that will be up for bid on September the 12th. Well, thank you, Mark and Jennifer, for letting us be outside. A beautiful day. Hopefully the auction is a beautiful day as well, September the 12th, and some great vehicles. We have a couple coming from Tom Hall, a couple coming from Lee Kinsel still. Three are in our lot right now, including this one, Zach, a 2002 Oldsmobile Alero. That's right, and what's exciting about all of our cars we're going to show you here, low miles. This is a 2002 Alero, like you mentioned, just 122,000 miles, just over 122,000 miles, and so still a lot of life left in it and lots of potential for this car. And that silver color means it stays pretty clean. You want that for your extra bonus. driveway, right. especially once winter comes. And we have one of my favorites right here. Very exciting. Firebird, 1991 Firebird, and it's got the automatic motorized trunk, something oh, I've never had about of. <laughs> never have had that. Can you imagine you just motor? Yeah. Goes right up. Also, very <laughs> low miles, 52, wow. 000, just over 52,000 miles. And so it's been kept in very good condition. Um, by the previous owner, and so it's going to be a great car. I think a lot of people are going to be interested in this one, so you're going to want to come out early and check it out and get a good look. Beautiful color, too, the nice red. Also stays pretty clean, six-cylinder engine, yep. so got lots of power. And I always loved these as a kid, just I did too. pop up yeah. headlights, something fun. Yeah, it's almost like the car is alive. Trip down memory lane, it could be <laughs> yours if the price is right. If you like that same color, similar right over here. It's our 1999 Chevy Cavalier, under 100,000 miles, low mileage again, 95, 589, and the remote starter. <laughs> That's right. If, I love the gidget gadgets. If you're, car, if you're caught in that cold winter like we've had recently in Ohio, maybe you're going somewhere colder, it's convenient just to stand just inside your house, mm. hit that button, fire the car up, and then, hey, it's warm by the time it's you get It's such a in. beautiful sound. I was in Alaska, and you just <laughs> hit the button. Ah, oh, the car is warming up yep. as you stay warm. Very good. It even helps melt the uh, ice on the windshield. That's right. It also has a new battery, and so that's something that a good motor put in it. These, uh, these Cavaliers run for a long time, just 95,000 miles on this. So a great opportunity for somebody. And that's not all we have. We'll have two motorcycles yep. we're expecting to be donated by Lynn Lehman. We mentioned two cars from Tom All, two from Lee Kinsel. You still have a chance to donate your car. Nice tax yep. write-off if you're able and willing to do that. Lots of great options here at the auction. That's right, so come on out and get a good look early. You can hear them fired up. If you come out early in the day, you can hear, we'll fire up the motors for you. You can get a look under the hood and all of those things that you want to see. And so come out early to the TV44 auction, September 12th. What time, Andy? I don't know. Two, two's cars, <laughs> two, right? Two two's clock? cars, 9 a.m. Get here like seven, time. you know, it's gonna be an <laughs> awesome day. And Jennifer has another motorized, or it can, it's not motorized, is it? There's Jennifer? parts, there's parts. <laughs> Thank you guys. No, this is not motorized on its own, but I tell you, it is an incredible home on wheels. You hook this up to your big truck and it can take you all across the country. This is a 2007 26 foot travel trailer. One pop out here. It is an amazingly well kept contraption. I want to show you the inside, so let's go check it out inside. Hey, welcome home. This could be your new home on wheels. What an incredible small, but everything you need furnishings right here. This is a one owner situation. It was purchased new back in 2007. Kitchen is one of my favorite parts right from the beginning. Great refrigerator, freezer, full stove, microwave, all of the nice little amenities, even a nice little window by your sink. The nice pop out gives you extra space. This seat will move down into a bed. Of course, the eating area also will move into a bed. This tra travel trailer will hold six people. As you move along down here, a full bathroom is available. Lots of privacy spaces in here as well. Lots of storage space is available too. And then to top it all off, yep, you got your very own bedroom. Queen size bed in here. Nice little skylight up above and there is a, a door if you need to escape or you know you could just hang out here because this is nice and cozy and it can take you everywhere you want to go hello and thank you jennifer i hope she can get out of that trailer welcome to hollywood game night that's actually already being used so we'll go with hollywood game day i like that better i'm your host mr big grin 
These minor celebrities and Zach Bowers uh, will be guessing Does wonderful items to I'm appear in our amazing 18. auction you on September 12th at the television oh. station. Let's meet our contestants. Contestants, audience, audience, contestants. Yeah, okay. Moving on. Contestants, buzz in as you recognize the items movie or show. Yes, just like that. Item number one. This trilogy started in 1995, with the third hitting the big screen 15 years later. Mark. What is Toy Story? Toy Story oh, is to correct. Answer, do we have to answer what is? Is this Jeopardy rules? You may answer in whatever manner you like. Okay. Just shout it out. Buzz in first, please. What do I get? Recognition. Mark has one. We'll keep score. Mark <laughs> has one. <laughs> Writing it down right now. The trilogy has not ended, though. They've, re they've announced that a fourth will be coming out. So for all you Toy Story fanatics, look forward to that. Item number two. This movie is based on a book that was first published in 1945. Mark. What is not small, not Stuart? Close enough. <laughs> Stuart Little. <laughs> Stuart Little's remote control car will be at the auction. Ooh. Item number three. This movie's first released in 1965 is one of the best known animated children's Christmas movies of all time. Mark. <laughs> He's referring, of course, to Charlie Brown. Very good. Do you want to go Absolutely. grab lunch or something? <laughs> yeah, I know. Of Seahawks <laughs> characters will be at the auction. Item number four. This popular TV series ran from 1947 to 1960 and was originally titled, oh my word, Zach? No, this is actually Mark cheating. He buzzed my buzzer. Mark! I didn't, re I didn't hear the question. Yeah, though. we were still trying to figure it out. Okay. It's howdy doody oh. time. Indeed <laughs> it is. Don't think I needed to keep score. <laughs> howdy doody, Marionette doll will be at the auction on September 12th. Item number five. This classic movie was first released in 1939. Matt? Let's follow the yellow brick road to the Wizard of Oz. Absolutely. <laughs> there you go, Matt. He breaks up the dynasty. <laughs> For the record, I was rolling up my sleeves. So oh, I okay. <laughs> of course. Hand off of the buzzer. Course. The Wizard of Oz Barbie and Ken set will be at the auction. You'll want to check Wait, that out. That's Who's Ken? Uh, Scarecrow? The tin Man. <laughs> Okay, item six. These dolls represent the villains in four well-known classic movies and a part of, are part of the Universal Studios monster series. Try to guess any of the four. Mark. Wolfman. Wolfman is one. Anybody else have guesses? We'll keep going, see if we can name them all. Bella Lugosio. Lugosi. Lugosi. <laughs> Boris Carla. Mark has the second, yes. The Mummy. Lon Chaney took up three of the four yeah. roles. Any other guesses? Still two more. Oh. I don't need Shelley. <laughs> I'm not sure what and we're guessing. And Gaston LaRoe wrote two of the original books. Oh, villains. Frankenstein, no, yes, that's three of the four. Andrew Lloyd Webber made one into a wildly successful movie, musical that was then turned into another movie. Phantom of the Opera? Exactly. There's the I thought four. Bella Lugosi was a gymnast. I believe that no, was that's Mark, Bella Carolla. Mark, uh, Matt, <laughs> and Matt. he's a coach. But. <laughs> we have a theme. Glad you created that up for yep, me. Yep. Number seven. Reese's Pieces. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mark's favorite. Of now. course, that's Mark. I can see this item from here. <laughs> Indeed. He's sleeping right can now. Can you imagine the long distance bill they had back then? They're all An the same interactive ET e. doll that will talk to you and haunt your dreams will be at the auction. Oh, it talks? Oh, yeah, it, man. Oh, He's it talks. Vocal, very vocal. It talks, and you wish it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's our seven items that will be at the show or at the auction item. Are at the auction, there we go, at the <laughs> auction, Mr. Big Grin, we'll just flash that, yes, enjoy me. Uh, Mark, we got uh, pretty much all of them, Matt got a few charity questions, and Zach. <laughs> I buzzed once. Why were you You're, here? It, it, his buzzer didn't <laughs> work. Know. Oh, oh there was a buzzer malfunction, of course, <laughs> of course, always blame the equipment. Well, thank you for joining us. We're going to send it back to Jennifer, who apparently did get out of the trailer, I'm assuming through a window. 
Thank you, Ben. What, what an auction we have coming up. Well, guess what? Trips. This is just a tiny spattering of all the trips. Go to WTLW.com to find out more and come to the auction September 12th so you can see that full color trip catalog with all kinds of great getaway items to be auctioned at noon. Our first one we're going to tell you about today, however, is the Millhouse Bed and Breakfast in Grand Rapids, Mich Min not Grand Rapids, Michigan, Grand Rapids, Ohio. Three one night stays available. This is provided by the Millhouse Bed and Breakfast. The Inn and Spa at Cedar Falls is again partnering with us for a two night stay for two adults. This is donated partially by the Inn and Spa at Cedar Falls, as well as a gift package from Perfectly Posh from Daniel Kloss here in the Lima area. Hawking Hills Country Vista Cabins is new for this year's auction. Really excited about this one. A two night stay for two adults in a choice of any of their three cabins. Thank you, Hawking Hills Country Vista Cabins, for your donation. Also, some extra add-ons to some of these special trips getaways. Nicole Morris of Sweet Life Mineral Makeup has provided a special gift package that we will add on to one of our trip packages. And Corey Hughes of doTERRA has also added her own essential oils gift package as well. So those will be little extras added into these trips. The Bob Evans Farm Festival is taking place October 9th, and we have a motor coach trip for two. This has been donated by Choice Travel. The Wilds. Have you ever been to the Wilds down in southeastern Ohio? Admission for six. Thank you to David and Anne Marie Anderson for your donation of this trip. Henry Ford and Deerfield Village. Here's a great family getaway. Two day tickets for four plus overnight accommodations. Lots and lots of fun. Hey, that hamburger restaurant looks very similar to the little model that we have sitting over here on our auction set. Hawking Hills, more Hawking Hills, great opportunities coming up on this year's trips. An overnight tent or cabin option, three to four nights, depending on what you choose. Thank you, Dr. Herb and Paula Schoon for that donation. Now, calling all you girls, American Girl Getaway Trip. We're going to have that again this year down in Columbus. Overnight accommodations with some fun hotel perks for you and your doll. And a great gift certificate to get you to the American Girl place. Lots and lots of incredible fun trips. That is just a small glimpse. We're going to show more of those for you coming up later on in other productions. So be watching TV 44. Also, our auction commercial spots will also be showing more of those trips. And you can always look online at WTLW.com. Hey, you know what? Vacation getaways are important, but whole life of health is very important. Fitness Solutions 24-7 has donated two full memberships, and they've also donated this. 12030 membership. Well, as you know, Andy is kind of tall. Do we have any items for this year's auction that are taller than Andy? We've always wanted that six foot seven cake. We haven't gotten that yet, but what do we have? Matt and Andy are going to take a unique look. Thank you, Jennifer. Our goal is to find things in the auction Taller than Andy. Andy, this is how tall you are. 79 <laughs> inches. That's right. I'm and really tall. I, well, well, we also have Andy here in real life to <laughs> help verify. You are taller than this treadmill, but this is a really Which, nice looking treadmill. And I was checking it out because if I'm running and I fall, would I fall and fit on the entire treadmill? The answer is no. I'd bang my head on the concrete. It could be dangerous. And die. So, so this is not a good option for me. <laughs> no, we don't want Andy to. So this treadmill could be yours because we have to keep it away from Andy to make sure he stays safe. Lots of great items up for auction. Can you find Andy? He's around here somewhere. And we found an item that is close to Andy's height. It's this shelving over here. But when he stands up straight, he's still taller. So we have yet to find an item that is taller than Andy. What but about this is, the tree if you put the Christmas well, tree up? Well, if we put the tree up, maybe. This shelving, though, five nice pieces of shelves for, what, would you say 75 inches tall? Yeah, you can get some stuff up off yeah. the ground. Perfect for the garage. You might need basement. Andy to get it off the top shelf for you, but... We have it. And this Christmas tree might be taller than you when it's actually all stood up. Come here. We got it. We do have one thing that we know is taller than you, and that's our tower. So. <laughs> you should bang it off the top of the door. <laughs> that's what I was saying. You don't fit. I don't know how you fit. Well, we've established that our broadcast tower is taller than Andy, but Andy is taller than this Indian, but this mirrored hutch is taller than Andy. We have found our first item that is taller than Andy. This mirrored hutch comes in at 
looks like 70, looks like 80 inches exactly, which is two inches taller than Andy, who is doing his best pose right now and keeping it nice and steady. But this dresser with mirrored hutch could be yours at the 2015 auction. Andy is holding a nice set of golf clubs. Looks like the Woods, driver, three wood, five wood. Up for auction on September 12th, of course. But we have found another item that is taller than Andy, and it is this beautiful grandfather clock. Is it officially a grandfather clock? It yes, is. It is. It says it on the yellow form. Handcrafted Westminster chime. I would say, what would you say? That's, that's closing in on seven feet, right? Probably worth $10,000, I would imagine. Could be. Could be yours for a lot cheaper at, on September 12th. Here we have a pull-up bar for Andy. Not quite. It's an 83-inch tall closet unit. Metal closet unit. And Andy, I'm honestly it is hefty. surprised because we found a handful of items that are taller than you, which I thought would be a real challenge. And we're hoping that eventually by auction day, there's a cake that is taller than me. It's that our is dream. And then we'll eat it. And then we will all eat it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you guys. Well, here's a quick look at a few more items. Remember, WTLW.com is where you can get the most up-to-date look at everything. The Grounds guys have provided two $75 gift certificates for fall cleanup and holiday lighting. Plus, you get a pretty cool Grounds guys cap. That's just one of several gift certificates we have. YMCA of Lima has donated three or two three-month family memberships. This is for new families only, donated by the Lima Family YMCA. Grinders is giving us five, well, $105 gift certificates. You could spend your entire year next year eating grinders for lunch. How about that? Thank you to Caprella's uh, Sportswear for uh, providing that donation. Woolam Ag has provided 12 $25 gift certificates. You just never know what you're going to find here at the TV44 auction. So many reasons to come. And finally, we want to say thank you to Trinity Communications for an incredible donation of a huge amount of tickets. Here's a quick look at everything that they have donated. Shonda Pierce coming to Fort Wayne September 26. We've got two pairs, four tickets for that. Ernie Haas and Signature Sound October 11th in Harlan, Indiana. Four tickets for that as well. New Song, Mandisa, Danny Goki, October 17th in Fort Wayne. Four tickets to that concert. Magician Justin Flom from the TV show Wizard Wars. Four pairs of tickets. That would mean eight tickets total. Chris Tomlin, Ren Collective, coming November 5th to Fort Wayne, Indiana. Let me tell you, we have good seats for these tickets, and we have eight tickets for that. For King and Country and Mariah Peters, November 22nd in Fort Wayne. Four tickets to that event. And Matt Marr, I Am They, and John Guerrera, December 5th, also in Fort Wayne. Thank you so much, Trinity Communications, for that incredible donation. And thank you for being incredible people as well. Don't forget the auction is September 12th. Registration opens at 8.30. It starts at 9 o'clock. We can't wait to see you right here, 1844 Beatty Road. We're also still accepting donations. Bring them to the TV station between 10 and 3, Monday through Friday, or give us a call. Thanks so much for joining us on this special TV44 auction preview show. We'll see you September 12th at the auction.